Now, despite the passage of the New Petroleum Industry Act, Nigeria's oil and gas industry continues to struggle. A recent report by the National Bureau of Statistics showed the industry did not attract any investment in the second quarter of this year. This next report has more details. Historically, Nigeria's oil and gas sector has been a major recipient of foreign investment, contributing significantly to the nation's economy. However, the second quarter of 2023 shows a zero investment report card, which raises significant concerns about Nigeria's revenue stream, which is traditionally a major contributor to the country's GDP. As any downturn in the oil and gas sector directly affects government revenue, imparting budget and economic planning. Uh, the issues of uh, security challenges, uh, pipeline vandalism, and oil thefts, you know, negligence on the part of the oil companies in the maintenance of assets and integrity has led to pipeline explosion and so many other things, anomalies, which all culminated in the drop in the revenue and uh, you know in an economy whereby in an oil economy whereby revenue is being is dropping no investor might be willing to put money the oil and gas industry plays a pivotal role in supporting the Nigerian currency and according to Esport, a decline in foreign investment may exert prior in exchange rate potentially affecting the value of the national currency we already started feeling the consequences. Scarcity of dollar is is one immediate consequence. Uh, imagine for a second that we are doing two to 2.5 million barrels of oil per day. I do not think that the exchange rate will be what it is today. With a global push towards renewable energy, Esport emphasized the need for the country to explore and invest in alternative sectors that align with global economic and environmental trends. We should not only rely on the oil sector, we should also rely on other sectors like the transportation sector, the aviation sector, the, you know, um, the consumer goods sector, the industrial goods. There are so many other sectors that government can actually generate revenue from. Uh, government needs to actually invest in those areas in order to attract foreigners to come also. Or probably government can create, you know, a very conducive uh, business environment around those other sectors so that Foreigners can, you know, bring in their funds and invest in these sectors and government can also generate more revenue from taxes uh, of these companies in those sectors. From leading informed policies through critical engagement with stakeholders will also help identify areas of potential growth and diversification. The agri sector is very wide enough uh, for citizens to invest, both local and foreign investors can invest in it because there's this multiple chain of investment in the agricultural sector and that was what nigeria was actually relying on before um, the oil was actually discovered so if nigeria can go back to the agri sector then and then harness the opportunities you know that is embedded in that sector i think nigeria will be better for it and our over reliance on income forex from crude oil will actually reduce the MBS report no doubt is a reality check for Nigeria as the world gradually moves away from fossil fuel to cleaner energy. Tamlore Akinkwole, TV360 Lagos.